Coquitlam. They were posing as customers, a couple out shopping for watches. Then they pulled a gun and terrorized staff at a downtown Vancouver jewelry store. An armed robbery that we told you about earlier this week was caught on surveillance video. And tonight, CTV News is the only newscast that can show it to you. Should jewelry stores be allowed to hire armed guards? Watch and decide. Here's CTV Shannon Patterson. You're about to witness an armed robbery. That couple on the left looking at watches, they're not really customers. It seemed like from nowhere they pulled out of her purse a gun and they ordered the sales staff behind in the corner and uh, they ordered me to unlock the cases and take out the watches and put them in the duffel bag that he was carrying. And then the fellow screamed, if they move, just shoot them, just shoot them. This was not the first robbery at Monte Cristo and Cusano's fed up. She wants to hire an armed security guard. People will think twice if they actually see someone with a gun, as opposed to solely a security guard standing outside, just like another person inside the store. And you'd be willing to pay for an armed guard? Absolutely. It would be at our expense. But BC law forbids it. It is allowed in another province. We do have armed guards working static in some jewelry stores in Ontario. Mike Fenton with Paragon Security in Toronto says guards first need to get a federal firearms license. The security company then uh, has to give you armed guard training. Uh, typically it, it varies by company but it's around 40 hours. Then they are legally authorized to carry the firearm during the course of their duties to protect portable property of high value. Attorney General Wally Opel says he's considering changing our law to be like Ontario's. I think that we might well have to uh, take, a, uh, take a look at that. But would an armed guard have prevented this? Some security experts here don't think so. It's not something I would feel comfortable with uh, having my own employees certainly uh, carrying guns. I don't, don't think it helps. It's easy to take over a facility that has an unarmed guard or an armed guard. What has to happen is there has to be a remote monitored video that goes directly to the police. This video shows how frightening armed robbery is. You feel violated. You feel mad, angry. The woman with the gun was caught and is facing serious charges. The man took off with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of watches. He also took Cusano's sense of security. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver. They were dragged to a field and dumped like so much garbage.